alive, live, stream status good. I think you just gotta say start stream there. And in three, two, one, starting the stream. Do you want to? Sure you want us? I don't want to. Stop. No, 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 Oh, I, I think. Our, oh, it, it, we're live. I think, I think I we're think, live. Perfect. I see us. We are alive. Is audio working now? That's always the part that scares that me. That is always the question. I can't hear it without it going through HDMI, and then it's going to hear it there. I Click have, play. I have connections. Oh, I'm muted. Okay. Oh. Oh. In three, two, one. All right. Well, I guess we were live. I guess we were live <laughs> yeah, before okay. we were live. Cool. What's up, everyone? Welcome to this live show. Today we're talking about Cyber Monday deals. Um, we've been wanting to do, you know, nice tech deals and stuff with yeah. Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and the problem with all these kind of like videos that surface on YouTube is they either get posted like really late in the day. Or the content creator is up at I don't know one a.m. trying yeah, to. Well, make some of these them. deals don't come out until a little, like sometimes like the afternoon time yeah. or morning time. There's like spontaneous deals you got to be on top of. So exactly, yeah, it's tough. So we're here. We wanted to do a live show, talk about Cyber Monday deals, figure out what you know we can find. So hopefully you guys can save save some money. Yeah, save for sure. some money. So in all reality, we have not really done much research for Cyber Monday deals. No. Because we kind of want to bring you on that process and show you guys, you know, how to find deals, how we're finding our deals, so on and so forth. Um, we're going to be, you know, just going around on Amazon, Best Buy, whatever, those websites, as well as maybe, I guess, taking a look at other, you know, news platforms, CNET and whatnot that have pretty big databases of deals already uh, populated. But, you know, we're not CNET, so we're just going to, we're going to use some of those links. So that is that. Anyway, um, what do we want to start off with here? So what is one of the biggest purchases people probably buy on like Black Friday, Cyber Monday? I mean, okay, so Black Friday specifically. I was in Best Buy the other day. Okay. Guess what I saw the most of? Um, what did you see the most of? Um, I always think of TVs. Yeah, TVs. Yeah. Stacks and stacks of TVs. So let's quickly you know, take a minute. And we're just, you find your own deals. I'm going to find my own deals. Okay. And, you know, don't look at my screen. You know, <coughs> well, don't look at my screen oh then. My Come on. Okay. All okay. right. And we're going to quickly find, you know, in, like, let's let's take like a minute or so. We can even like have a stopwatch. All right. You know, it's getting real when we bring the stopwatch out. We bring the stopwatch out, of course. All right. Timer. We're going to have one hour. One minute. One hour. And start the timer. Okay. Don't look. All right, so we're not going to necessarily try to find the cheapest TVs. We're just going to kind of look for, you know, what's the best deal you can best get. Best value. Best value, yeah, that's, that's a good way to put it. Oh, we need 4K, I think, in that, nowadays. I mean, maybe, maybe. And, and the reality is we're not going to be looking at only oh one, you know, service. Like, we're not going to just look at Amazon or something like that, like... We're going to utilize any resources we can possibly acquire um, to find these deals for you guys. That is the goal. We only have 20 seconds remaining. I mean, I that think, went I, I think really I found really fast. I may have found two decent TVs. I just hope we don't have too much uh, overlapping, but you know, that's that's just the fun. In the I game don't think here. we will. You don't think we will? Nope. All right. Well, let's find out. Oh, okay. I need to turn up the volume a little more. All right, one minute has gone by. Okay. Let me just... Let I, me just I found three TVs that I, I would done. be fairly satisfied with. All right, so let me, let's, Trevor, you, you sound all confident over there. Let's take a look at your computer screen okay. right now. So for the best budget, there's no way you can beat this. 50-inch, 4K, Ultra HD TV with HDR, $200. $200. Westinghouse on Best, on Best Buy. What's the original price of that of that TV? Um, it says $329. $329. It's so still you're not getting... a bad price at $329, but for $200, I mean, this is not going to be the best TV ever. I don't even know if this is like a smart TV, so. Yeah, but like know. with everyone having, you know, Apple TVs or Roku's, yeah. does it even matter in all reality? I don't Probably think so. not. Like for, but for the pure value sake, I think this is great. However, I have two others that I did see briefly that I thought were also good prices. Let's take a look at them. So if you don't care about the 4K, which be honest, there's a lot of people that still don't care about the 4K. That's true. You got this sharp 40-inch uh, LED 1080p television. For only 150 bucks. 
150 bucks. Yeah, it's only 40 inches, but this is going to bring you some of those other features that you may not get the, you know, at, at the other price. Yeah, range. And, and the reality is not everyone has, you know, the internet connection. Yeah, for plus 4K. this is a Sharp, so you're getting a good brand. It's you not like, good. you know, uh, Westinghouse, which is not quite as good of a brand. But then we have the LG um, 43 inch uh, LED. Um, 4K television. It's a smart TV. Okay, so 4K, a, little, a little bit more. A little bit more, but 269 So and, at that point, it, you're getting those smart functionalities. It, it, Normally yeah. $400, but it's LG. It's a good brand. I would buy that. No, then that's not bad. And the reality is, if you were going to buy a TV and you wanted it to be smart, if you don't already have like a Roku or whatever, for only 70 bucks, that's that's definitely not bad. No, not definitely at all. Definitely not bad at all. So, you know, I, I do like that TV you're showing. 47 inches. <laughs> Um, not bad, but I actually, I want Amazon, you know, the typical place you would go for online deals. And this is what I saw that I was pretty interested in. It's TLC, so, TCL. or TCL, my bad. So, I mean, it's not your Sharp, it's not your LG. I've had a TCL Roku TV before, and I'll, I don't personally like them. That's why I stay away and from them. But. Subjected to opinions yeah. here, of course. You know, we're not doing review videos right now, but, you know, for $280, a little bit more than your LG TV, you get a 49-inch 4K smart TV. You know, for a lot of people, this actually might be a pretty no, decent buy. No, it would be. Um, I'll tell you, not that this is a review, the only real complaint I have about these things is audio, um, which may be a good, another good test to see what like audio uh, yeah. bars or you know things like that to go along with your TV, because I know a lot of people get those too. Yeah, but, no kidding. Uh, but like, if you get yourself like a, you know, an audio bar or something like that, I think um, you'd have a good experience with a TV like that. And I do like the fact that it does include the Roku. So almost consider the f extra price of a yeah. Roku on top of that. Uh, so it does make sense to me. My question is, is there any good curved TVs on sale right oh, now? Oh, I don't know. I have I've, I have a nice, I don't know what the model number is. I have a nice Samsung curved TV at my house. It's a couple years old now, but it's like 4K and all that. I absolutely love See, it. See, I never bought into the curve thing, to be honest. I mean, it is kind of a gimmick, but it's actually not that bad. However, I mean, I'm on, I'm on Amazon I'm right now. I'm on Best now, Buy, and I'm not seeing much. I'm, I'm really not seeing much. I mean... Yeah, like I see this 65-inch curved Samsung, but it's not on sale. It's $900, so that's really... I mean, <coughs> the best one I see here on Best Buy, which is a little bit of a sale, is the Samsung 55-inch LED curve 4K television with HDR. Okay. Um, it's on sale. It's only $70. It's normally $649. It's right now $579.99. Uh, it does have 30 days of Sling TV for free. But this is, this is your full smart TV. I mean, it's still under $600, it so is, I'm not going to overly complain. Not but. bad, not bad at all. All right, fantastic. So I think we need to move on to our next category Ooh, here. What's it going to be? I'm excited. <sighs> I think we should go with phones. Phones. Are there oh, any phone deals? So I did hear about this. Okay. So just before we even search, this okay. is what I heard. Every Samsung like flagship phone right now is $200 off directly from Samsung, like if you okay. buy the phone outright. However... That $200 off is still being honored on Amazon. However, Amazon, for all the Samsung flagship phones, they're giving the $200 off plus a free um, Echo device or a free... Mm, so you're trying so to squeeze your Amazon, I know, has got some deals there, but I'd also be curious to see what you see that's not on Amazon and also not necessarily in the Samsung world. Yeah, so. no kidding. All right. Um, let's, I'm going to give ourselves you know, a minute 30 this time just because I felt like a minute was a little short. And okay. let's start the timer and get searching here. All right. Oh, I see. I see you looking over there. I see you. Don't appreciate I'm you. I'm not there. copying you. Oh. All right. See, like when it comes to phones, <coughs> I'm not even sure like what's the greatest place to go. Yeah, I don't for know the deals. answer for that either, to be honest. And I guess at this point, you know, just because of the the timing that we have, I'm not even like going on CNET looking at the research they've done. I'm just trying to really go from like the average consumer here, you know. What can you find? Yeah, what's going to be a good, uh, va again, I think the value aspect of it's going to be really important. Yeah, I hear, yeah, I hear, yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. <sighs> smartphones are interesting, though, because the reality is there's only so many, like, smartphones that people are really interested in. So it's like, do you go mainstream? Do you, do you not go mainstream? You know, there's so many options here. So far, I've only found one that... I'm willing to share. Oh. 
don't think I'm going to find much from the Apple world. Sorry, iPhone users. Uh, yeah, some of the deals, too, look to be contract-specific deals with a carrier, so that's also, like, going to throw you off a little bit. Yeah, I hear you there. Um, four, three, two, no. one. All right, timer off. It's really, this alarm still needs to be louder. I don't... Dumb iPhones. This is why maybe I need a new phone. Hey, I see you searching over there, <laughs> freaking I, cheater. I didn't do good. Cheater. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I'll, I'll go for. I'll actually go first this time. Oh, what screen is me? Oh, I'm on the screen. So I was going around on a couple different websites, and first of all, let's go to Best Buy. So I found the Google Pixel 3 XL. Yeah, I saw and, that. One. And there is some controversy with this phone. However, I actually am still relatively interested it's in it. It's a good phone. Minus some of the quirks that it has and, and weird glitches. I like the Google Pixels. Yeah, it's the notch is a little bit ridiculous. But he, okay, let's get to the deal though. Originally forty-one dollars a month. Now it's thirty-three. You save two hundred dollars off of it. However, that's going to be with Best Buy financing, I believe. That I would assume. I would need to pull so. out my Best Buy credit card and. And, and, and this is this just to note. This is the Verizon one. Yeah. So like, <coughs> actually, let's quickly look. Google Pixel Three XL. If this wants to load. It's also the one twenty-eight gigabyte version, which I assume I don't know the full lineup, but I'm also assuming that's a higher end model. Yeah, I do think so. Um, Jet Black, Verizon, Verizon, Verizon. All these are Verizon on. Oh, is that because isn't the phone only on Verizon? Is it? I'm not I so think, sure I th about No, that. I think it is. I think you have to okay. buy an unlocked version from Google itself to put on another carrier. Okay, so that makes it's sense. So, so across the board, you do have $200 off this phone. Definitely not bad. And I guess while we're here, I'm cheating here a little bit, but I wonder if there's just the regular Pixel 3, the non-XL version. Um, do, 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 do. I only see... Pixel 3, still, yeah, $200 off, still, on the regular Pixel 3. So, not bad. across the board, hey, if you're interested in the regular Pixel 3, only 25 bucks a month. It's not bad. 64 gigabytes. Anyway, let's, let's move on. My second phone that I found Curious. is by LG. It's their G6. Actually, I'm not sure when this phone came out, um, but it's across multiple carriers. Originally costed $799, or $699, my bad. Now at only 360 bucks, um, let's see, what even, 5.7 inch display, so definitely not a super small phone by any means. What version of Android does this even have? That's a good question. Here, let's quickly Wikipedia Yeah, I don't really know this. the G6. Um... Yeah, I'm not a huge LG fan here. Um, release date, when was this? When did this come out? I don't think Google, LG's page is going to necessarily tell us that, but let's go to specs. Um, they don't really tell you much. It's not 8, the most 21. impressive phone in the world. No, definitely not. Oh, and look, go, well, Android 7.0, Nugget. Okay. What even version of Android are we on right now? I have an Android tablet. I think that's up to date, but that's uh, I don't even know what it's at. All right, I, I really don't know. I. I Anyway, so those are my two phones that I found. Trevor, I'm interested to see what okay. you found. So this deal right now, uh, I've seen it in a couple different places. Um, unfortunately, at Walmart, it's out of stock right now, but take that with a grain of salt because I've seen this deal several places. Okay. iPhone 6, 32 gigabytes, $99. iPhone 6, so a couple years old. A couple years old. But only $99. But $100, not pre-owned, not used, brand, brand new, new, $100. You can get a brand new iPhone for $100. To me, that is unbelievable. This is specifically for straight talk. However, if you know, iPhones are unlocked, yeah. especially if you buy one out of contract like yeah. this. So you could buy this, put on any carrier. Um, and, and if I'm correct, straight talk isn't a carrier that requires you to be locked in. No. It, it's pay per month. Yeah, it's so. actually Walmart, I believe, owns straight yes, talk. So. Correct. And straight talk actually works on all the different carriers depending on what phone you have. Okay. So yeah, their phones are generally speaking unlocked, but this one you'd have no problem with. So $99 to me, I would Not almost bad. buy that as an iPod yeah. touch type equivalent. Like that's, that's dirt cheap. <coughs> Excuse my coughing. Um, but I thought that's a good brand. Out of stock at Walmart, but I've seen this deal a couple times since Black Friday, okay. so you can find that. Um, I don't actually know how much money you're saving. It looks, it looks like the list price on this is $3.99, so that's a significant amount of money not if that's bad, what it's going for. However, my second one, Samsung Galaxy S8 unlocked. Okay. Um, not an S9. Not an S9, but unlocked, 442. 
442. So you're only getting, a, a, you know, we're, we're looking at the iPhone 6. Was it 6 or 6S? I, I, I forgot. 6. Already. 6, okay. So that's what? Now like four-ish years old or something? About, yeah, it's about right. But the S8, wasn't that last year's phone? But we're so, at the S9 now, right? Yeah. yeah so. Yep. And I had, I had the year. S8. Um, I it's loved it. It was a good phone. I mean, I had, I, I have an issue with all Android phones at some point. But, Understandable. Um, but there's a f good phone. But for brand new, for 442, that's a budget phone territory yeah. at that point. Um, and look, if you're interested in the S8 Plus, not a significant amount more. It's only 479 Not so bad. So for 20 30 bucks yeah. more, you get yourself the S8 Plus, which is actually what I had. And, and just to reiterate your iPhone deal you saw, I just going on Amazon, I found the iPhone 6, 199 So you're getting... And that's refurbished. And that's refurbished. This like, is, this, this is, is brand new. Let me go... Nope. Yeah, this is brand new. Yeah. No refurbished, no nothing, so, brand new. So that is, that is fantastic. Um, they know it's such a good deal that it's a limit to per customer, 21-day <laughs> period. Like That's funny. That's yeah. funny. Um, for a record, Trevor, I would open up a new whole new uh, window every time so we can just go back in the future. You should have told me this. I know. I, I just thought about this now. So we Stupid can add Eric. everything in the description when this is done. Okay. Anyway, let's move on here, though. So, next category. Okay, so next. we got our TV. We got our phone. I think we need a game console. A game console. Yeah. Because okay. if you got your TV, you got your phone, you know, you can watch your videos on, whatever. Yep. Now you're ready to game on that new All 4K right. television. And at this point, I am going to, I'm giving us a one minute. One minute on the dock. Don't be, don't be clicking. And three, two, one, and begin. We're for real right now. Oh, I see you just keep wanting to look at my screen. I'm actually, I look over at the iPad, not you. And the iPad has my screen, too. You caught me. I typed in screen when I said screen. This is not good. Not good at all. This guy distract you. Uh, I'm not... Oh. Okay, wait. <laughs> I found mine. I don't think I'm even going to look anywhere else because it's such a good deal. I'm struggling here. I am <coughs> very much struggling. I don't think I'm going to find what I want. I don't think. I might fail this. I might fail this. And that is the timer. Finally, it was loud enough. All right. Who okay. wants? Who I'll, wants? Go, I'll go first. All right. All right, Trevor. Tell me. You could beat this. Sony PlayStation 4, one terabyte Marvel Spider-Man console bundle, Jet Black. There's also other bundles out there about the same price. Okay. $200. There's also an Xbox uh, One S. Um, it's pretty much an Xbox equivalent that is also at $200. Okay. So you can get your brand new console for $200. That's, that's pretty good if you ask me. However, if you're a Nintendo Switch fan, because ah. that's the other direction, was looking at some of the bundles here. Um... Look at this guy. The Nintendo Switch console with neon blue and red. I think that's the one you got, right? Yeah. Um, 50, you also get, with this, you get a $50 GameStop gift card. Okay. And I don't know why it says $35 eShop card not included. I don't know why it's specifically saying that, but but you get a, so essentially, look, so it's like $250, essentially. Two, two, yeah. Which is not much. bad for a brand new Switch. They're, they are kind of expensive, to be honest. I don't know why the Switches are so expensive. I mean, but. I like my Switch, but the game selection is a little... Like, hilarious. to be honest, I wouldn't buy this. If I was to get a game console and you're not, like, arguing portability of the Switch versus, like, the PlayStation or the Xbox, which I see you have up here, the yeah. Minecraft edition I've seen in, um, you can yeah. switch to your... Why are you looking at my screen? That's, yeah, because um, I knew you were going to go that. That's, I knew, saw this one earlier. This is not a revolutionary, um... What are you doing? I don't know. I'm messing up with the iPad, but okay. Is that all? Is that all That's you have all to I show got, right yeah. now? All right, so let's go to mine here. So I have the opposite end of the spectrum: Xbox One S, one terabyte Minecraft Creators Bundle. It's the white version, one ninety nine. I like the white version. It looks nice. It looks. I've only very had the black sleek. version it of looks, the uh, Xbox. It looks very. I am sleek. not racist when it comes to my game consoles. Now this is a really good deal. I'm not a huge console person and all that, so. You know, 199 Minecraft Edition, fantastic. However, I wanted to cheat and like push the boundaries here a little bit. So, like, you know, what is it? What is the definition of a console? You know, <laughs> what like? How is he cheating? How if, is he gonna find a way if, to cheat? If you know, it, if you can play games on it, 
couldn't it be argued as a console? So I'm looking right here at the, oh, we got the right screen. <laughs> the MSI GT series, GT75 Titan 058, 17.3 inch laptop. It is out of stock right now, unfortunately. I'm sure you can find this on other websites, but originally this computer goes for $2,800. You can get it right now for $2,200. If, if you're gonna go there, go back to my screen for a second. <laughs> if you're gonna cheat, that for pure value purposes, you can game on a Fire TV stick for $34 oh. and get the official Amazon Fire TV game controller for $14.99. Can you beat that pricing for gaming then? Look Pro at that, those games you could play. Probably not. Hey, but do you, do you have a core? Oh, you can't even get the Core i9 version. Never mind, never mind. But here's actually a good question. I mean, this is going to be for another video, but you, know, you bring up the Fire Stick and the gaming abilities on that. What are the gaming abilities on other hardware like that? Apple TV, you know, I was gonna say Chromecast, but I guess that's not Chromecast. really Well, that there are valid. some games, like I, I had a game that you use your phone and okay. you can cast well, it to the TV, yeah. and then you can play with others. Like it's like a, it's not like an a, a intensive game. It's almost mm -hmm. like a board game. Like uh, what do you call that on, people play on Steam sometimes, like um, like uh, something pack, I forget what it's called, but it's like one of those, you know, games that like, you know, 20 people can connect on their phones, answer the, Oh, Question. I, I know what you're talking about. I, I don't forget know what it's called, called Joy Pack or something. something I, I like have that. it actually. It's fun. You can play those type of games on the Chromecast. But as far as like the Fire Stick, the Apple TV, I have a Fire Stick. Um, I love it, and you can play, you know, games perfectly fine on it. Um, it's That's like Android nice. games. Um, okay. Very. You know, nice. it's not. Very it's not nice. bad. And and I know the, I know the uh, Apple TV's gotten some. Criticism and its yeah, games. I mean that's why it's for another video because the issue with the Apple TV is no game creator is taking it seriously. No. And I don't think they will until Apple advertises it as a gaming device and, and maybe even try to sell a controller with it. But that's just going down a, or a rather slippery slope. Or make it inexpensive. Slow. I don't know if Apple actually sells a, a Apple branded controller. I don't think they do. They, they rely don't on sell an parties. Apple branded <coughs> one. I think it's like Steel Series or something that makes a, a decent okay. controller. And if you go into the Apple store, they do have it set up with the Apple TV. I will say the Fire TV controller uh, I, I guess it's on sale right now, pretty extreme. It's, 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 I guess it's normally 50, it's on 70% off. But for $14.99, this looks like a decent controller. This, to be honest, this looks just like my Xbox controller, which I use for PC gaming. Now, okay, this is, this is gonna get a little off topic here, but I'm actually curious. Now, one of the reasons why, it, the Apple TV is unfortunately not a good gaming device. And that's solely because no developer is really interested in developing games for it, especially console-based games because there's just not much of a market for it. I mean, Apple even demanded at one point that all games had to work with their stupid remote, which is somewhat understandable, but also really limits you in, in terms of games and whatnot. It's expensive but too. It, it is. And that's why, you know, you really, if, ooh, I hit the, I hope, I hope my audio is fine. Um, <coughs> if you wanted to play games on it, you know, there's just not much available. But here's the thing, Minecraft, actually removed their their Apple TV version of their game from the Apple TV. It's no longer oh, there. Oh, yeah, I heard about Because that. they were trying to basically set a statement of, hey, we're fine with having, you know, Minecraft on the Apple TV, but it's, it's not a good platform for us right now. And I'm sure they'll go right back to it if Apple fixes the Apple TV. But right now, the Apple TV, you know, people watch Netflix on it. They don't play well, games, Well, you know, it should be said, too, who owns Minecraft? Microsoft. So there is also something you said, this could be the Apple versus Microsoft wars I mean, a little bit. I mean, could it be? Yeah. But at the same time, Microsoft has allowed Mojang to do a lot of development in a plethora of other ecosystems, oh, you're including right. iOS. But they're doing a lot of exclusive stuff with the Microsoft branded, you know, the Microsoft exclusive game and, and the Xbox well, game. Well, well, even now though, Minecraft, their new Bedrock edition, actually works across the board on iOS, the switch on, on your or Windows, but, but what doesn't it work on? Mac OS. Your Mac. I'm just yeah, saying it's because of the Java conspiracy. Uh, uh, so this true. controller looks like crap. The one they recommend, fifty dollars too. But Steel Series, I don't like that. That is no fun. But it's because honestly, the best controller out there, honestly, is an Xbox uh, controller. It was the Xbox 360 controller. It was one of my favorite controllers. 
Um, I did like the PS3 controller. The PS4 controller, I'm not as much of a fan of as the Xbox One controller. Okay. Not a bad controller by any means, but just the way it feels in your hand. Like when not I good. when I feel it's cheap, and also had a I had a PlayStation Four. I had a couple different controllers. They all broke over time. Like oh, they really? just they don't feel like they're built like tanks. You know, the Xbox One controller, I feel like I could literally throw it at your head, and <laughs> don't recommend your head that. will hurt, but the controller will be fine. It's like you literally built like a tank. And I have no allegiance to either really Sony or uh-huh. Microsoft. I'm a PC gamer at this point, so I just use whatever controller I want to on the PC. They both work, so I don't really care. Uh, but I do prefer the Xbox One controller. No, understandable. Um, I'm just trying to see. What are you trying to look for over here? I'm looking if the, if the Fire TV <coughs> is still supported. I don't but know. I don't this know. is off topic. We should probably get back this on This is very topic. off topic. Anyway, back to Cyber Monday deals. What are we looking for now? Good question. Audio. What about audio? That's a very broad... Uh... It is. Um, audio outputting. Headphones. Speakers. Airbuds. Speakers. The whole nine yards. Okay, put a minute on the clock. All right. We're doing, we're doing a... We'll do two minutes here. Two minutes. I'm being generous right now. You already started. <laughs> you already started. I do not like you. All right. I'm actually curious on what you're kind of going to focus on here. There's a lot of different speakers, and especially headphones these days, you know, Bluetooth headphones and, and whatnot. So definitely very curious on, on what you're going to be doing. I'm actually seeing a couple things I'm actually interested in. Um, if only my computer wanted to load. Hey, my computer's at an Apple store right now. That is very true. Very true. Okay. Ooh. Coming up with way too many, way too many options here. It's not necessarily a bad thing. No, no, not by any means. Hmm. I feel like there's just so many different, you know, headphone speakers and stuff. It's really hard to find good quality these days as well. Well, you also, you might have to do some research or know a little bit. See, that's the one benefit I have, especially in the audio world. I know whether some of these are, like, worth it or how good they really are. I feel like I uh, have a little bit of an in there. No, understandable, understandable. So it's, it's helping me a little bit. All right. How much time do we got? We have 11 seconds. God. Pressure on. Oh, okay. I'll do it. I'll do all it. Right. I think I'm good. All right. I think. All right. And. Oh, that okay. was brutal. That was brutal. Um, you want to go first? I sure, go first? I'll go first. All right. All right. So and you gave us a little bit of a broad category. I did, I did. Here first thing go. I got to go for, though, is... <coughs> These HyperX Cloud Core Pro gaming headset from GameStop. Wait a second. These these seem like I've seen these before. Because I bought it for this deal. Did Because it was you a know? good deal. What are you doing over there? Fixing the fixing the iPad. Just okay. keep talking. Okay. So this is a good deal. They're normally seventy dollars. Um, I bought a pair of these because I was like for thirty four ninety nine. It seemed like a good price. Not bad. Um, not bad. I, my old headset's an old Corsair wireless headset from like five years ago. So I was like, let me get this for thirty four ninety nine. The build quality is good. It sounds really good, even if you just use them kind of as headphones. Um, everything seems to be good about them, especially if you want a headset. Honestly, I was very impressed with this. It works on your Xbox, your PlayStation, or PC. So they cover you no matter what. Some of these products are like specific with you know, console or whatever. So I thought this was a really good price for, um, for what you're really getting. Um, and this sale here, um, I got this on Saturday, so it's not specifically a Cyber Monday sale, but I don't know. I would imagine it's not going to last too long. Second, I saw this today. These are great. I owned a pair of these. Um, okay. I regret not still owning them. Uh, the Bose Quiet Comfort 25. Um, back when these were new, which these are older now, don't get me wrong, but however, quality in headphones doesn't really get necessarily better not, over time. Yeah, it's not like yeah. a new iPhone every year. No, it's different. <coughs> but these, when these things came out, they're like three, four hundred dollars. They're normally about, uh, I think, two hundred dollars. Um, this says list price three hundred. I think they normally okay. go around two, two fifty. However, brand new right now, one oh nine with the sale. 
Those are fantastic. Let me just show you what they come with, too. They're noise cancellation with the Switch. Okay. Uh, it comes with this nice traveling case. It's a hard case. Um, it comes with the battery, little, tr you know, the airplane uh, port if you need to plug it. It literally Very comes nice. with everything. Super nice headphones. Now, for your TV, you have some speakers. We're talking about sound bars a little bit. The Samsung soundbar, 5.1 uh, channel soundbar with six and a half wireless uh, subwoofer and digital amplifier, 279. Now, I have a Samsung soundbar and a sub in okay. my room. I love it. Um, I paid about $300 for mine. Um, even when I was living on my own in Arizona and I had that set up with my Samsung TV and soundbar, it was awesome. Like, it's, like serious, soundbars have come so far in the last couple of years. Um, however, there's another good soundbar that I've heard, not owned, so okay. I can't specifically state as much reputation as the Samsung one here, which is normally $500, so that's a fairly good deal. However, this is a good deal right here. Uh, if you ask me, um, you may only be saving fifty dollars, but this Polk Audio two point one channel soundbar uh, with wireless sub one fifty. It's a mm. very good price. Now, when you're looking at the hundred dollars to two hundred dollars price range for soundbar, sometimes you get really crappy ones. Okay. This Polk Audio one is not crappy. Um, Polk Audio is actually they've been around for a long time, but they're starting to grow a little bit again. And that's well, my chair just did so it broke. <laughs> um, this uh, Polk's starting to come back a little bit. For $150, I would find it hard to find a better soundbar. So um, right. there you go. That's my uh, audio recommendations. All right. Let's move over. Let's move over to Moi now. All right. Um, ignore it back to my Amazon. So <coughs> I was looking at the, the Bose. Oh, the 35 Yeah, the 35 How much? That's only so, a $50 deal there. It's only a $50 deal, but you know, you're getting still some pretty awesome headphones. Uh, I mean, hey, I'm not saying they're the greatest. A, they have but... Alexa voice control? Yeah. I didn't even know that. See, look at you're paying for Alexa. But Alexa's but, taking but you But I'll over. be honest though, the, the, the quality of these, if you just care about plugging in, are not much different than those $100 ones, to no, be honest. I, what you're I paying would, for here that. is the extra stuff. No, 100%. Which is cool, don't get me wrong. Moving on, so this is gonna be a little funny here, but. You need a pair of, of, <laughs> of computer speakers. Twenty four ninety nine. Like, sure, these are not going to be the greatest computer speakers you're ever no, going to own. No, they are going to be the best computer speakers for, for twenty four ninety nine you will ever get. I know what these speakers. These are like extremely popular speakers yeah. too. They've been around forever. And, and you know, they're they're great average speakers. And, and hey, you get a subwoofer. These are fantastic. You for you, the price, yeah. That is mind. Something. <laughs> that is a great price, I'll be honest. So I saw these and I'm like, I wasn't sure if I was gonna add them and all that, but I'm like, I have to. No, that's a good and, price. And this might not be a great you know, additional deal, but hey, if you're interested in it, um, for $50, so the full price of the speakers, they'll throw in one of their Logitech um, Bluetooth devices. I, I've used it in the, fa in the past, they're fine. Uh, everything I have is dinging right now, I apologize. Ding. Um, but you know, that's just that, so. Fantastic. It's not bad. I, I, I had some other deals. They're just not loading now. So those might be the only um, good audio deals that I can show off right now, unfortunately. Check the description. Maybe later I'll have uh, be able to post some of these deals. Um, oh, I, one was the Google's Home Mini smart speaker. Oh. It, it was off. Uh, there was some money off of it. But, you know, Best Buy's website. Everyone's buying stuff right now. So nothing, nothing wants to load. So that is just that. Okay, what else right. we got? Cameras. So, cameras, okay. Because right, that's what we do. We talk a lot about that stuff. I yeah. feel like we have to do a okay. camera one right now. So I do think we need to have, well, I think we should do beginner cameras. Okay, that's fair. Whatever definition a beginner camera is to you, by all means. Okay. So I'm not giving you a, a, okay. a price specific or I got, anything. I got a great you know. one. Beginner camera. So we're not necessarily, okay, I got you, I got you. And let's put you another two minutes on the clock. Okay. As I'm starting already. Whew, that's a good deal. Shh. Push your face over My there. deals are better than your deals, Eric. Type, 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 type. Where's your dad's uh, typewriter effect right now? <laughs> he doesn't even need an effect with his loud keyboard. <laughs> um... I'm not doing too well right now. Not doing well at all. Bum, 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 <laughs> Got one great bum, deal bum, bum, bum. for a beginner camera. Okay. 
that's really not a bad deal. Ooh, okay. I'm pushing <coughs> this, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. What are you pushing? The beginner the aspect? The beginner aspect. I knew of that it. was where you were going to be pushing <laughs> that. But Best Buy just does not want to look, period. I'm giving up on it Best Buy. It might be their actual website in all reality. It, it People could are be. going crazy. I mean, there's a lot of things that just don't want to load on this computer anyway, so. It's not a bad part. Oh, I, wait, I already get that one. It's not that price. Oh. Okay. I'm not happy with my deals here. Don't know if I can call some of these deals. That's a deal, though. That's a deal. I'm much more confident in what you're going to show than what uh, I am going are to you? show. I'll be honest here. I'm not. Oh, and that is the timer. Okay. Yeah. All right. I will. I will go first here. I will go first. Okay. So, I, 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 I did struggle finding some of these deals so quickly. However, beginner's camera. I was on Amazon, whatever. Here's what I want to show off first. Canon 5D Mark IV. <laughs> wait, wait. How is that a deal? So, no, this camera actually retails for $3,500. Oh, no, so, I understand that. Oh, okay, so whatever. Okay. It is, so, it, it is a very expensive camera. It is. That's the newest, that's the newest body it, still, right? The Mark The, the Mark V, yes. Okay. It, they do have bad. their EOS R, but that's a completely different camera. Um, but, hey, if you're getting into professional photography and you're looking to maybe not even necessarily start out but like you need your first camera to start your business this is actually a really good buy um, for photography you can get away with some video functionality to it it's not the greatest video camera um, but if you want to use it it definitely is that's gonna not a beginner some, camera some I'm sorry that's, images. and it's at Walmart's website of course it is at <laughs> Walmart's website it is it is moving on so this is going on the opposite end of the spectrum you need you need a camera, you know, you film little Johnny, you know, going down a slide. Hundred and thirty dollars <laughs> power shot elf one. We nine. we are both uh power shot um buyers in the past. We, we, we are. used to use these a lot. We are. And the reality is power shot cameras are not actually bad. They're not. And, and this is Wi-Fi NFC. These are features that I didn't have on my power shot back in the day. So you easily send it to like your iPhone or whatnot. Now, is it better than your iPhone camera? I, I don't know, but if, if you're looking for a camera, you do have a reason for looking for a camera. You know, you got a nice 10X optical zoom. So this is originally retails for 160. So 130, you're getting, you know, 50, uh, $30 off. Can't do math here. Um, moving on to my last thing I want to show off. This isn't a full on deal, but it's a really good bundle. Canon T6. Full DSLR, under $500. Um, I mean, just looking at this photo, you get two 32 gigabyte cards, you get a couple kit lenses, a nice bag, a tripod. You know, these are fantastic bundles to really get you started as a photographer or even videographer for that matter. Um, so this isn't really a full on deal here per se, um, but regardless, it still is a really, really great buy if you're looking to get started. It's not Start bad. It off. Okay, go to me. All right, Trevor. Let's go uh, So I'm going to go back to my iPhone <laughs> uh, 6 here. Because to be honest, if he's bringing that Elf, uh, you know, uh, that uh, power shot into it, okay. I would imagine the iPhone 6 actually does have better video quality than that. Maybe not by much, but there you go. I mean, that was more of a joke. Um, here we go. I think this is a good, really good price, to be honest. Canon EOS 6D. 6D. $1,000. Oh, only $1,000. You're saving $700. Now, this is just, you know, no you're lenses. You're saving over, no. over a grand if you're comparing to the 5D I showed off. Uh, and to be honest, for a beginner camera, this is your beginner into that professional type body. That, that's just a, that's a Mark I, though, not a Mark II. You're absolutely okay. right about that. But I still mean, a good deal. Fantastic for, for video or for photography. But, if you, but let's be honest. If you're a photographer and really on a tight budget, Okay, really, really tight Might budget. Might be a good buy. Though. No, 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 hold on. I'm about to get my next one. It's a oh, really okay. tight budget. You're, let's say you're a photographer. You take okay. photos. You're on a very tight budget. Okay. Very tight budget. Very tight budget. Okay. What am I looking for? The uh, Fun Saver disposable what? camera oh. with flash, <laughs> uh, $11.95. <laughs> 
<laughs> that is that is definitely on a budget. Yep, not that's on lie. a budget. So, uh, but the game back to reality. Um, I thought this was a good deal. Uh, Canon Rebel T6 with the 18 to 55 millimeter and a 75 to 300 millimeter for 399. Okay, so well, wait a second, wait a second. So you showed off the <coughs> you showed off the T6 too, and yep. yours is 399. Yep. However, if you want to look at what I was showing off, mine is 439. So for 40 extra dollars, you get an extra you get extra SD card. Well, let's be honest, you get a lot of crap. Like, Listen, I'm not saying it's not worth it, because you, you do get the SD cards, which are worth something, but they're really cheap nowadays. But then you also get a lot of stuff you probably will never use. The tripod's garbage. The case might be decent. You know, you'll be able to I use mean, it. But. Listen, I mean, listen, it depends on who you are. If, yeah. if you have nothing, <coughs> if you have nothing, a, a kit like this might However, be if you only have $400 exactly, and you then, don't have the extra $400 to spend, then you might want to go you, with it. You might want to go with But that. ultimately, just for the base lenses and what you get here, this really is not a bad no, idea. No, it's, it's still definitely not a bad idea. Nope. Um, um, I, got, I got more, though. Because Trevor's right. The, the kits sometimes aren't that great. Oh, wh what is this? The Canon EOS M50 mirrorless camera body. Um, camera you should have bought. Camera should have bought. This comes with the 15 to 45 millimeter lens. Uh, $600, $300 you're saving. Okay, $300 you're saving. <coughs> I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm, this is a good camera. The 4K looks good. Uh, it's mirrorless. It's nice yeah. and small. It's the camera I should have got. I have the M6 instead. Um, but um, not bad at all. Um, I, hey, you're getting 4K recording under $1,000. Definitely not bad. I'm going to say the video creator kit. It's the one I got of the M6. I was hoping okay. this would have a deal on it because this comes with the Rode video mic and the SD card, but unfortunately, it's no, no deals on that one. Wah, but, wah, wah. Um, I don't think this is bad at all in all reality. So, um, you know, this is a perfect example. Well, <clears throat> ah, this is probably a perfect example of the budget camera. Yeah. Budget price range, you're getting really good video for that price, let's be honest, um, if that's what you're into. Yeah. Or good photos. And okay. small, portable. Fantastic. Go All with right. the fun, saver, disposable camera. Whatever you want to do, guys, whatever you want to do. All right, so I think we need to go to our grand finale Because my battery's dying. Is it dying? I'm at 13 minutes left. 13 <laughs> minutes left. All right. Well, how about I'll quickly go grab you your power charger. Okay, you got to so plug me in. And um, and you can explain what our next our next. Okay, you gotta plug is. me in and turn me on. Whatever you need. <laughs> oh, he says whatever I need. That's great. A million dollars too, please. Yeah, you wish. Um, okay, so on our next thing we're gonna do is we've been having fun here uh, going over deals. However, we, this though this whole thing's been a little bit of a competition. We're gonna really make this a competition right now by um, essentially going ahead and building a custom computer. We're going to go on, I guess, whatever websites we really want to and build ourselves a desktop. Um, I don't know exactly how we're doing this. I guess best performance f per price, you know, uh, for value, essentially. Um, we could totally take different you know, approaches to this. You know, Eric could make a $3,000 oh, well, computer. I might make a $200 computer, but whatever is really the best value per performance, however we're going to really judge that, we'll figure out as, you know, it's not like we have... You know, all the criteria figured out, um, but I, I think that's that's what we're trying to do here is just figure out, um, make ourselves uh, you know a good deal Cyber Monday deal computer. One hundred percent. Let me get my microphone back on. Cool. Okay. So I guess you explained everything. Yep. Fantastic. Um, <coughs> and, and you know, Trevor was mentioning you know price and performance kind of thing. I mean, that's that's honestly up to your discretion though, of because course. we're not you know building the computers in front of you. We're not testing out. We're not even going to really be looking up benchmarking and whatnot. And we're just going to go from our knowledge, hopefully, you know, what, what some of the knowledge well, you have. Yeah, we'll look to see whose computer is better if it's like a close call at oh, the yeah, end. But, I mean, yeah, but we're not going to do any real research. I'm, we're just going to dive right into this, see, oh, that looks cheap, or uh, exactly. that looks good, or whatever, and, and just go for it. And, and also see just, you know, what can we get, um, you know, for, for what's on sale and all that. What we should do um, is we should definitely save what we're doing right now. Um, so in the future, like a month down the road, check the pricing and see yeah. if you really didn't have a good deal. It's too yeah. hard to tell today. It is. But go six months in the future or a month in the future, yeah. see if that those deals really are good. Because that means maybe it's a little late this year. Maybe you got to make build your new computer bill next Cyber Monday yeah. or something like that. I don't know. Cause no kidding. It's okay. hard to tell. So um, a couple other criteria I want to mention. I don't know what you exactly told them yet. Um, no used. Okay. That's no refurbished. That's fine. 
So uh, are we, gonna, are we going used. to include like pricing with included rebates and stuff like that? Because a lot of times with computer parts, it's like, oh, you know, two fifty with a twenty dollar rebate, so that'd be two thirty, really. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I guess uh, it's probably fair to include the rebate because in all reality, you have the ability to get money back. Okay, so so we'll out. include the rebate. <coughs> um, so yeah, we can dive into this. I. I'm going to be a little modest here. I want us to get it done a little sooner, hopefully, but I will give us 10 minutes. Okay, fair enough. Also, I should say... Oops, I almost said 10 hours. <laughs> that's way too much. Are we... We should... I mean, granted, it doesn't really matter, but are we building, just so we know, a game, kind of a gaming computer? Okay, no, that's, that's it's gonna good to Because it's going to be different know. if it's like a game that's computer, a workstation. Know. What are we trying to do? So, we're... we're I, I want to play. I want to play my Fortnite. I want to play my Minecraft. I thought gaming is good. Yeah, let's stick I, with gaming. Let's let's go okay. with gaming. And, and hey, if you want to try to implement other functionality to it, whatever you want to do. But at the end of the day, Ooh. if it doesn't game well, well, that makes me think. I got some ideas now. It doesn't doesn't work out. Okay. So All right. This is gonna be the one. Right. I'm excited. We, we, we're gonna put ten minutes on the clock. Um, you know, we'll see how long it actually takes us. However, we do kind of need to. <coughs> keep track of you know what we're buying and all that and deals so it might take us a little bit longer this time around um i hope my battery doesn't die i'm at 52 percent but like you should be good but my battery's messed up so like oh. once it goes below 50 just pull hey at least your max actually at the studio and not an apple store <laughs> very true very true okay. so i don't oh i'm curious to know what you're gonna go for here very yeah me too curious. Very curious. I'm pretty, I, to be honest, I kind of know what I'm doing. I'm not going to lie. I, oh, I have absolutely This whole time, no we've idea. talked about this before we started the show. We were, we were like, okay, we're going to do this computer. And as soon as I thought it, I kind of had an idea of what I was going to do. Or are you all cool over <coughs> there, <coughs> knowing a, what you're going to do? I will be do. honest. I'll be transparent, even this early. A couple things I do not know exactly is going to be graphics cards. Um, I have an idea for mine already, but the websites want to load. But I might have an interesting graphics card choice that will surprise a lot of people. I might too. So like, oh, this is, what do we build this? We're not, but like, what do we build the same exact system? I would love that. It'd be funny. That'd be funny. I mean, it's probably, it's not going to, it's never going to be identical, but it'll be funny. Oh, that's okay. That's the highest end I can get. Hmm. <coughs> what to do? What to do? What to do? Do do. Do we have to include Windows Ten in this? <sighs> well, in all reality, we're not. We're not. Um, it's not like we're trying to build a computer under a thousand dollars per se or whatever. No, and that's what I'm saying. That's a valid point. Actually, but, that's true because we both have to include. It's not gonna really mess it, mess it up either way. No, I know we both have to include it unless I build the Linux machine. But that's let's not get into Linux talk now. I brought it up. There's no turning back now. You're gonna game on Linux? What do you mean? Okay. I hope there's no Linux people watching. <laughs> <laughs> They're in trouble already. What if we had like 10 watchers and like all of a sudden it's like dropped to zero once we brought up Linux? Oh, it's getting hot in it here. It is getting, it's hot, getting hot, in here. hot in here. It's because the pressure's on. Pressure is on. This video, this stream's not gonna last for another 10 minutes. I'm gonna pass out of heat exhaustion. Your battery and your Mac's in overheat. And then your Mac oh, will be in Apple see the, I can't even see the thermometer right now. It's at least like 85 degrees in this room. No, it is very hot. Oh, I am. Oh, I have seven, th seven minutes left, guys. Seven minutes left. Will I even survive seven minutes? I don't think I'll need that long. I I'm struggling here, but, you know. There's just there's one thing I, I want to add, but I just don't think it's going to be cost effective, and I'm going to lose it. However, I still will be happy with it. <coughs> uh, do I do that? Mm. Actually, I gotta see if this even is on sale. Okay, that's okay. What does this go for on a normal day? Oh. Oh, wait, I have to look at that. What motherboard is that? What, you're putting a motherboard in the computer? Stop cheating. Huh. I don't know. I'm just letting you know. I'm thinking going full ATX over here. 
full ATX? Maybe. Just maybe. And that's interesting you say that. Because maybe I was thinking about going full ATX too. Oh, oh. Are you so cool over there? Oh, RAM is always the... Oh, it's the killer. RAM is the killer. Is there any good RAM discounts today? Probably not. Ooh, okay, okay, wait a second. What is this? Ooh, mm. Ooh that's not bad. Ooh, ah, e oh, ugh. Ooh, that's not bad at all. Add to cart. I might just have to like, buy this at the end. Hmm. I might be spending like $130 on RAM. Only $130. Does it surprise you at all? I don't know what I'm doing yet. If oh, I don't like that power supply though. See, I always go with the same power supply no matter what build I'm doing. And, to, and it's the same power supply that's in my computer right now. If I, I should have looked at what power supply is in your... Is it modular? No, but they make a module version. Same power supply, okay. though. I don't have the module version. I did in this case. That's the only hint I'll give you. But I always go with the same power supply. Oh, what is storage going to look like here? Oh, I already figured out my storage. Oh, that's not... There actually are deals on storage today. I saw some like four terabyte hard drives for like $70. Hmm, good to know, good to know. But I, I'm going in a different direction. I'll just be, uh, I, I, I have no mechanical hard drives in my build. Interesting, interesting. Oh my God, RAM. RAM. That's not a bad deal, but I need more. <laughs> Gaming's getting more and more graphic intensive nowadays. I'm getting more RAM hungry and CPU intensive. How many RAM slots do I got? 16, awesome. <sighs> that is expensive. Hmm. I'm looking at a SSD storage right now. Yeah, good luck with that. Uh, I might be, this might go interesting over here. Is I'm getting interesting. Deal, though? Is that even a deal? Well, I'm spending eight hundred and thirty-nine dollars on RAM. That's a deal. Eight hundred? Like, please, is that what you just said? That is what I said. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's all I was asking. I just wanted to clarify price here. I, I, I'm. This build is relatively price conscious, but <laughs> mine's not. <laughs> okay, so we are definitely going <laughs> the opposite direction, but I absolutely love it. To Absolutely be honest, I, this is not that expensive so far. I feel like I'm missing something. I don't have a graphics card in the cart yet. Okay. But. Okay. What are you? What? Are you, where are you building your computer right now? I'm on. I've been doing everything on Newegg. Okay. I've been on Amazon. Okay. Amazon's not always the greatest place, but it's sometimes also not bad. It's also convenient. You know, Newegg is fine, and there's a lot of deals on Newegg. However. You can never get away from the convenience factor of Amazon. So that's why I'm kind of building this on Amazon. I mean, here's the question. Do you really need 64 gigabytes of RAM? Because <laughs> <laughs> this is, I mean, I'm interested in your system. However, I don't, for, for gaming, I, I would make an argument that you don't. Okay, then I don't think I need it. I mean, you might want to go above 16, but that's up to your own discretion. Thanks for your help. No problem, bud. No problem. I still need a case. I got a good case. I'm happy with my case. Um, I just need a graphics card. <clears throat> and I, I like one here, but I don't think it's going to do me well. How much are you spending on your case over there, mister? I only spent 50, 50 bucks, I think. $50 on your case. Not bad, sir. I haven't found a case yet. I think I might spend more than $50, though. But I think I have the budget for it, I feel. I'm curious to actually know how much you're actually spending. I think, and this could, we have, how long do we have? We have, we have under two minutes left. I could change this entire thing still. But I, ooh, $160. I, I don't know if I should do that. Like, do I cheap out on a case? Do I not? You know. I don't know how we're going to like We even... should factor in. 
upgradeability to a degree here. Eight left. Oh, whatever. We'll do it. We'll do it. I might go with my original comparison here, which is going to... People will freak out. Is the one you mentioned to me before? Nope. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. I feel like I'm missing something. That's how I felt, too. Got a case, got... That, I got that, I got that. <laughs> I don't want to give away everything. I'm missing something. I'm missing something. There's no way. No way. Okay. I think I know why I'm missing something, but like. I'm going with my initial idea here. I, I do need to find some bench. I do need to take some time, though, and find some benchmarking. Though. I just did that. I got my build. You got your builds? And it's not terribly expensive. Let me just make sure I got everything. <coughs> Case, that, was that fast? RAM, oh my god. Processor, graphics card, Case. SSD, power supply, motherboard. I think I got everything. I think I got everything too. Uh, my build, I think, is done. Okay. I mean, we're, we're off the clock now. I, I just I just need to <coughs> make sure. I just need to look up some benchmarking here before I can unveil. What I am doing. Whatever makes you sleep better at night. Okay, we, uh, we have way too many tabs open. Way too many. Let me just make sure I don't have any rebates or anything. I want to make sure I have a solid price here. Because I do get an AMD gift card. You have to get an AMD gift card. Mm. Oh, I get two free games. Mm. Mm, very interesting. Very I'll interesting. give you a hint. There's no NVIDIA anything in this build. Now I, I mean... Okay, ditto. Ditto. Okay, that's interesting. And now I'm really <laughs> curious. But I guarantee you, you will not guess my graphics card. You will not guess it. Is it the Vega 20? It is not. Is that what you got? No, that would be a really bad idea for gaming. Okay, wait. I just, I almost, I almost have some of my... You're not going to approve of my graphics card, but... Now I'm... <clears throat> but I'll make an argument for it. Uh, I, I'm really, okay. Screw this. Screw this. I will look up benchmarking later. Okay, well, first of all, I think we should have to start with one thing. What is your price? Okay, wait. I gotta get, let me get back. Let me refresh my page. Make sure that I'm giving you the right info. All right. Grand price, $809.93. Okay. Mine's $1,349. Okay. So, so it's not, not crazy. It's not, it's also not terribly off. It's, no, it's, it's not. It's not terribly off, you know. A couple component swaps, and you know we could be getting pretty uh, comparable machines. Yep. All right. So do you want to go through part to part? Like, let's okay. Let's let's do. Well, um, okay. Yeah, we we can do that. I mean, I'm pulling out my my shopping list here. Yeah, I'm so gonna we, open up everything in a tab. So I can here. like, yeah, okay. So let's go. Well, I'll just open up page by page when you need it. All right. So let's let's start off with you know giving the audience nothing helpful. What is, your, what is the case? Case. Okay. My case is the Masterbox uh, MB600L ATX mid-tower case. Okay. You're spending got, $50 on yep, nice it. Yeah, nice glass. Well, I don't know if it's real glass, but <laughs> you got the, uh, the see-through panel. I like this case a lot. It just looks it's nice. No, it, it's it, not it, super expensive. It looks sleek. It looks nice. I have Corsair's <laughs> Corsair's case. You spent one hundred and sixty dollars. Your computer would be significantly cheaper if you weren't buying that. It would, it would. But I absolutely love this case. I love the form factor of it. You know, it's gonna have a lot of ability for for airflow. You know, upgradeability in the future, which might be relevant for this machine, as you'll see. Is it on sale or something though? Because I feel unfortunately, like unfortunately, this is not on sale. Um, I, <coughs> I didn't do the greatest job of finding parts that are on sale, but that is... I don't that approve of that case. Well, what, just because of the price? This is not worth the money. I mean, It's hey, not a value. We're supposed to go for value, and that's not value. Hey, you know, if, if you want a case, you might just you might just get it. So, whatever. whatever. Anyway, let's move on. So, next, we have... What do you want to um, do? Processor? No, no, no. That's, that's for later. That's okay, for later. okay. What do you want to do? What is your storage? Oh, easy. This is all going to depend on your motherboard, too. It is. It but I is. went with an M.2 uh, 1 terabyte um, Samsung uh, okay. Evo Not bad. I, I approve you went M.2. 189, really inexpensive. I put most of my games on here, all no right. problem. I'll, I'll be honest. I mean, you probably have a better bang for your buck than what I got. I have 
for $250. It is on sale. So this is a product they get on sale. It's a SanDisk Ultra uh, 2 terabyte SSD. Okay. Now, I went 2 terabytes because I have no other storage. I don't either. And I wanted to get the most, <coughs> I wanted to get the most storage I could for the price. Because I'll, I'll be honest, you know, I've built a plethora of machines. Um, for, for myself, for my friends, whatnot. And typically I have an SSD with a one terabyte hard drive. That's always like what spinning I've hard yeah, drive. That's, that's what everyone what does. Yeah. But I find nine times out of 10, no one utilizes the hard drive. Everyone tries to squeeze everything onto that one drive. I don't know if it's due to laziness or, or you know, they're just not putting in the effort to, or not thinking about moving over their you know, Steam library. I don't know. But I thought everything on one drive might be better. It's not bad. I mean, I my build gives you the potential of putting whatever you want in the future as far as SSDs of or course. hard drives. Like I just wanted to go simple. That's why I went with mine. But yeah. I respect yours. Um, I'm right. saving a little money there, but you got double the space. Of so. course, of course. For for not double the money, might I add. So no, something, but, something to but be it is it, but it's a little bit of money extra. Let's be honest. It's like it sixty is, bucks it more. Is. You it's, might have a little bit better speed. I wise. could go and get a two terabyte hard drive for that sixty dollars difference, and all of a sudden I have three terabytes. Not all that SSD space, but that is true. All right, moving on. Oh, yeah. um, let's, we're just really keeping the audience, you know, power away supply. from it. Power supply. So um, <coughs> I have a simple EVGA five hundred watt power supply, twenty five bucks, eighty plus white. <laughs> Um, might not be the greatest power supply, but EVGA, pretty decent, pretty, pretty See, decent company. Um, I also went EVGA. That's the only power supplies I ever will get on Fair any enough. build. I went with the 650B3. This is a 650 watt power supply. I like that. It's modular. Fully module. Um, I went with this one because we will need the extra wattage for my build. Fair enough. Fair enough. You know, I mean, hey, you're yelling at me. You're yelling at me for my case, but I only spent 20 bucks on power supply. Is that good? I don't know. 20 bucks <coughs> for a power supply does well, seem look, a little sketchy. Well, look, 500 but... watts you can get for a good price. You can. But if you need anything over 500 watts, the price does go pretty. It gets up there pretty it does. fast. I need more than 500 watts for my build. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, um, oh, we got. What are some good deals in the comments? Hey. You know, we were, we were talking about deals. You're gonna have to go to the beginning of the stream or wait till this goes. Uh, yeah. Till this goes. All we uh, did was talk about it. deals. That's all we talked about. Anyway, let's move on. So let's just get let's just get it out of the way. Ram quickly. A and, ram. And then we'll we'll go into the meat and potatoes of everything. Okay. So I have 16 gigabytes Corsair Vengeance, 130 bucks. DDR4, um, 300. Uh, or th sorry, 3,000 uh, megahertz. You know, See, pretty, I find this decent. funny. Go, okay, go, go to mine. All right, we're going to yours. I, I purposely went down the page so you couldn't see. Corsair Vengeance, 32 gigabytes, 32 though. 32 gigabytes. Um, for for <coughs> what? Almost double the price. Well, that would make sense. It's it double does. the RAM. Um, but I went with this. I was going to go with two of these. Oh, I was, and I was going to get 64 gigs of RAM. Um, but um, I figured we'd you save that upgrade for yeah. another time. However, with this, it does make it really easy to upgrade over time if you need it. I'm thinking that my build here is for like the streamer in my mind. So it's like maybe you're gaming and you're streaming. You okay. might need that extra RAM. I'm maybe making that up in my head, but that's my mentality I got right now. No, fair enough, fair enough. Um, messing up with some of my desktops here. Give me one second. Okay. Oh, wait, but I'm, I think it's funny we both went with Corsair, uh, Corsair Vengeance. Hey, but it's, it's good RAM. It's, it's fantastic RAM. And I will say my RAM, $129, it is on sale. Usually it's $190, so you are saving about $60. Bucks. So fantastic. Um, all right, processor. We got it. We got to talk about the processor. So here we go. Here is my processor. It is a little AMD. Weak, what a weak little processor. Raise <laughs> Ryzen 5. This has Vega 11 graphics. Tell me that's not your graphics. That is my graphics. Oh. Uh, Vega. For the price, $800? That's because you spent your fucking. Sorry. <laughs> that's because you spent your graphics card money on a case. You okay. could have. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, so, Vega graphics are actually doing pretty well. And oh. I thought this would be fantastic for your starting this off guy your over building here. a machine. And, um,. Hey, originally this cost. You could have built this computer for four hundred dollars. Then I'm sorry, like you uh, double its price. Uh, maybe to stupid crap. Maybe, but you know this. <coughs> you're, you're you're building a computer that is future proof because you can add your own GPU in the future if you want. <sighs> but the for a hundred and sixty dollars, the same price as your case, um, you're getting you know a pretty decent APU. 
So same price as your is, case. Same price as my case. Yeah, my case is fifty dollars. <laughs> okay, you stum you. All right. I went with AMD Ryzen Seven, oh, the twenty seven hundred X. Has no built in graphics. Eight core. I don't care about that. Um, this was rated um, by Tom's Harder Best Overall Gaming CPU of two thousand eighteen. Okay. That for a reason. Two hundred sixty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. It is on a sixty dollars sale right now. Okay. That ends in thirteen hours. So if you are out there looking, I would definitely buy this thing. This thing is awesome. Hey, I, I just gotta say, if you go, if you buy the the Ryzen five, you save ten dollars. It's on sale. So this is off. an actual deal, if you ask me, uh, on mine. Um, this CPU will uh, not only play every modern game without any bottlenecking, yeah. any issues, no matter what graphics card you really have. This will be fine for the next the years to come in all reality. Um, you Also, this is the X version, which means it's highly overclockable. Ooh, very nice. Because um, the 2700 is on sale as well, um, and it is a little cheaper at 249 and this is saving $50. However, you want that overclockability, and for a little bit of price difference, Add a nice you go with that. cooler to it in the future. Yeah. You know, the sky's <laughs> the limit. <coughs> Sky over here. Yeah, I'm sorry. However, I we both may have messed up on one thing. Oh, never mind. Never mind. We didn't. Comes with I was making sure because I know some of these didn't come with coolers, um, yeah. but they did. I, Intel's really known for that, but um, okay. AMD maybe cool. not so much. So uh, let's get the motherboard out of the case, and then you could do your, your graphic card reveal okay. here. Oh, I gotta go out of that. Oh, oh. Ah! 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 I don't know if you saw that. I don't know if you saw that. What okay. you got? So my motherboard, it's by ASUS for only seventy nine dollars. You're saving forty five bucks. You'll get a Motherboard that's really compatible with the AMD Ryzen. Port selection isn't nice. awful, but you don't have USB Type-C or Thunderbolt, which kind of sucks, but that's kind of what you get for the price of $79. At least you have USB 3, 3.1. It's Type-A, though. A couple USB 2s, no one cares about that. Um, How many RAM slots do you got? I have four, okay. I have four. So it's not the greatest motherboard. You're saving some not money Not bad for here. the money. I'll, I'll give you... Yeah. Um, one thing <coughs> to mention, though, and I actually didn't notice this till now. Oh, you do have you have gigabit Ethernet. I thought I didn't see Ethernet for a second there. So not bad. If you are if you need USB-C, Thunderbolt 3, just keep that in mind. However, you can get an expansion slot to add USB Type-C for usually relatively cheap, so that's not too bad. What's your motherboard here? So I want the Gigabyte, um, oh, Gigabyte GA okay. AB350 Gaming, whatever. Gaming. Um, gaming. <laughs> it's a full ATX board, $100. I could, for my $13, almost $1,400 build, I could have gone with definitely a better motherboard. Yeah. Um, I'm, th there's a couple things I'll say right off the bat. I don't know how this is going to do overclock. I mean, it, you can overclock it, but I don't know how it's going to do great with that processor. Yeah. That's where you normally do want to spend a little more money. Fair enough. Uh, but... With that being said, what do you got here? Uh, not much different than than him, I'll be honest. Um, my I/O is not really any better. Um, what yeah, is you don't have USB Type C or Thunderbolt. No, or but it's hard to find that for under hundred dollars in all reality. Is. However, I have one big benefit: the gaming in this. You know what that really means? The fact that they put gaming in it. What's that? Lots of RGB. <laughs> This has the RGB fusion. You can set everything. There's LEDs on the freaking motherboard. Hey, surround I, lighting. I have, I have RGB. <coughs> oh, do you? You can like sync it and stuff. Oh, like, never mind. Come then, on. Then you got fancy. You, you think Sorry, I, I thought was I had gonna, something over you. You thought I wasn't going to include uh, RGB. Oh, but mine does have one feature. I don't know if yours actually does have, and that it does have the M.2. Um, I, I do. I do. I oh, okay. utilize it, but I do. MVME, M.2. Yes, I do have it. Now, this claims it has high-end audio capacitors. I don't know any about yeah, that. who really cares? Um, I I was going to look to see if it had any sort of Wi-Fi built in, but I don't think it does. But um, but you're not going to be gaming on you know, Wi-Fi. You're going to be plugging in. Anything. You're right. I'm not going to be gaming on Wi-Fi. Exactly. So, so whatever. Right. But, I, but ours are similar. In yeah, all similar. I'm, I'm, my board's better. But it's okay. Yeah, okay. Anywho, what is... So you already guys, you already know what I got in terms of my, my GPU. <laughs> just the built-in Vega 11. And yeah, for the price, yeah, yeah, you definitely could have gone you know, a little lower. But I was kind of going out here and I'm like... You know, let's say you have $1,000, but you know you're going to be upgrading your machine in the future. So why deal with a graphic card right now when, you know, I can get a, an APU, game on that for a while, and figure out really where my needs are going to lie? Now, um, I get what you're saying, but I will say, before I, I to let you know my graphics card, I will say one thing. My graphics card came with a free AMD gift. Okay. Which technically uh, has money. It includes um, the Division 2, uh, Resident Evil 2, and Devil May Cry 5. Okay. So I get some games for free. AMD gift, always nice. Okay, always so you nice. ready for this? I'm ready for the reveal. Okay, uh, okay you ready? This is going to be it. This is going to be it. Don't, you don't look. Because right. you're going to be shocked. And... Uh, okay. Uh, okay, go for it. 
Sapphire Radeon RX Vegas 64. Vegas 64. Now why? All right, you have to explain this. Okay, you got why Crossfire you XV support. Uh, okay, let's just be honest here. This is a beast of a card. Okay, now we're talking about gaming, which this, we are. Which this is going to do well in. It's not going to do bad. So you know what this equates to according to like um, GPUbenchmark.com or whatever the name of the website is. Um, this would go, I was a, well I'll put it this way. It's better than the 1070 and okay. it's the 1080 is about 5% better. However, do you know how much a 1080 goes for? Even on, even on Cyber Monday, 800? about $800. Okay. This is $400 on sale. Sale lasts for the next 12 hours. Normally this goes for around 500. Okay. So you're talking about a card that almost performs as good as a 1080. Not TI, but if you, if you have a 1080, you're playing almost every game at high settings. Very true. Also, this is going to do great for your video streamers out there, your Twitchers and stuff like that. People are going to okay. rely on some of those extra... Now, now you're talking so, the real deal here. <coughs> yeah, so that's why I was bringing this up. That's why I even had that extra RAM in there. So I even can you know, so utilize this card a little better on those workstation-type tasks like video encoding. 100%. So for $400, I would say you probably can't get a better graphics card for the money. And, and I, I, to help you out, actually, too, you know, especially for, like, streamers and all that. I'll be honest. You, I mean, I don't, I don't know you, but there's a good chance you might be, you know, also video editing. Yeah. You know, to edit your, your, your Twitch streams and whatnot. Or maybe you actually run a video company. I don't know. Well, look, but they're also saying have... a card like this, too, is really good with VR stuff, which also in, in involves okay. gaming. So, you, again, it gives you those extra pro features because this is a workstation card at the end of the day. It is. But this thing is a beast. Let's just be honest. There's no, no one that's really doubting that. Um, I know people look away on these cards sometimes compared to the NVIDIA yeah. brethren. But, like, for $400, that's, like, Price wise, that's like 1060, 1070 cat, you know, yeah, price no range. So no this thing's gonna kill that. And also you got eight gigs of RAM on the card. So that's what the same as a 1080. I yeah, think. very nice, very nice. So <coughs> all right. I'm actually I'm actually fine with, with your GPU here. I knew it's, I had to sell it upon you though. Like I knew you were gonna be like, what? It, it, it's interesting, but I think there's a huge argument to be made that NVIDIA's prices aren't really worth it. Well, let's be honest here. This whole build at Totaling um, $1,349. Um, when's the last time you built a computer like, I'm, I mean, we've done it all the time. It, we go on Newegg and or Amazon yeah. and build out a computer. For $1,300, a lot of times what you're getting like maybe a 1060 equivalent or something well, like well, that. I, I was going to say back, you know, a couple years ago, I built my, my gaming, <coughs> I built my gaming slash, you know, Hackintosh machine, whatever. Yeah. I spent give or take, I don't know, 1200 bucks on it. And I got a subpar i5 processor. Even at the time, it was a Even subpar. Even at the time, it was subpar. And we're still using it today, and it's really subpar now. Yeah. Um, the GPU, you can maybe make an argument for, but it, it was a 760. So still like medium. Medium, mm, yeah. yeah. Middle of the road. And, and let's be honest. I was happy with it back in the day. Yeah. And, and to a degree, it's also not the worst thing now. Uh, you can definitely get something better. Don't get me wrong. Um, but in all reality, it, it does suffer in benchmarking, 100%. I mean, even my first computer, very similar story to yours. I spent around $1,000, so not that much more than this. And I got even worse, to be honest, because I spent around $1,000, but it was also during um, right when the, um, the um, earthquake happened in Japan where RAM oh, prices went really high. Oh, okay. So for like 8 gigs of RAM, I spent like $150. I remember that. It was like crazy, because RAM prices have been yeah. getting better, actually, but it's Slowly, still really bad. But... Um, but I spent like a thousand dollars. I had an i3, which was yeah. It was a higher end i3, but still a crappy processor, especially back in the day. I had an AMD um, Radeon 7770 graphics card. Oh, that was kind of big back in the day. It wasn't a bad card at all. However, it did struggle in some games. Some games just refused to play nicely <laughs> on it. Like I remember Grand Theft Auto 4 just it didn't want to work. It, no. it, it, Nvidia cards it loved. AMD cards just did not like. Oh, I hear you. Um, and, um, you know, it was like $1,000 at the end of the day. And it wasn't like I got a, you know, a million dollar case. You know, yeah. I got everything cheap. The fact that for like $1,300, you can get this machine, which to be honest, is a kick-ass machine that you will be able to play games for years to come. And this also is a good workstation machine in all reality. So it does kill a couple birds with one stone. Yeah, um, if no you're into kidding. that type of thing. Um, hopefully the, uh, the PETA, is it PETA? Is that the, uh, the PETA? PETA. PETA, the animal, people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah Hopefully yeah, yeah. PETA doesn't kill me. Um, but I think this is a really good option, to be honest. I, I'm, like, I'm pretty impressed with my build, considering I had 10 minutes. 
And honestly, this is gonna kill your build for eight hundred dollars. Your Vega Eleven. I mean, yeah, if I optimized it a little <coughs> bit and you know, got it down to you know, five hundred bucks or something, I think there would be a better. better argument here. Well, your case is too expensive. You literally could have gotten a graphics. You could have got that ten um, fifty Ti for the same price as your stupid case. Uh, you're fine. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm having trouble actually finding some good gaming. Oh, okay. Let's let, let me look at this. Uh, FPS. Vega 11 versus Vega 64. And <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay, cool. So my graphics performance is 483% better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, oh, sorry. That's effective speed. Uh, average user bench is 522% better. The peak overclock bench is 445% better, and value um, is 20% better, and nice to have is 315% better. All right, so maybe I have to work on you know optimizing my case a little more, bringing down the price. Guys. I think that would be a good idea. And you know maybe maybe it'll be all right. But regardless, um, honestly, actually the be the best deal I was actually happy to find actually was the RAM. 16 gigabytes, only 130 bucks. Yeah, I'm but curious. I, actually happy I wonder that. if I'm getting the same sale here, essentially, if I just drop this down to the 16 gigabyte variety. Um, oh, 16. Oh, you have two A's, right? I have two 129? Yeah. Yep, same. so same price. So that's not bad. I'm actually happy with that. Because I'm trying to remember, when I built uh, Nick's computer, not that you guys know Nick, but... Oh, you I know Nick, spent, you know, yeah, Nick, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what I actually spent in terms of RAM. I think it was like 200 bucks. Yeah, it though. was pretty expensive. So it, it was not not that. Though great. to be honest, this sale's great and all. Um, however, RAM. This just really shows a problem with PC building. RAM is really expensive. It is. Um, I remember I got 16 gigs of RAM a few years back. It was a uh, laptop RAM, so but that's still expensive. Don't get me wrong. And what's DDR3 even... went for like 100 dollars for 16 gigabytes of RAM. What's like DDR3 <coughs> right now in 16 gigabytes? It's still... It's still actually kind of pricey. Pretty pricey, yeah. I'm actually surprised about that. That's That sucks. Because this is, this is the way I bought by mistake, I think. Kingston, HyperX, 16 gigs, but this was DDR3. Oh, that's exactly what you got. And I, by you, you mistake, bought, bought it because I mistake, yeah. wanted it DDR4, so that was a mistake. But that's well, what I thought. That's still expensive, though. It is, it is, but that's that. So, I guess, all right, guys, that, are, that was... Wait, who, our, who wins? Oh, you win. <laughs> I win? You won. Yeah. You won. You, you, you focus a little more on deals and whatnot. I was I focusing spent too on much deals. on the case. Um, <laughs> what is, uh, I'm gonna, after we're done with the show, I'm going to hit him in the back of the head, because that case really... Listen, my, I like the case. It, like oh, it, it is a nice case, but that was way too much money. Fair enough. It's fair Cyber enough. Monday. Deals. So, guys, those are that's our Cyber this Monday uh, deal live stream. The Vega Actually, 11 graphics. Hey, you know, some people, that's absolutely fine to play Minecraft. When games. did this turn black? <laughs> when did that get here? I swear I did not see that. I had Erica put it up when you were when you weren't when you were distracted. Wow. Okay. I really did anyway, not see that. Anyway, we'll be back maybe later today with a video. He'll be probably talking about race because he's talking about black stuff over there. I don't know. Thank you for tuning in to this live show. Um, we'll be back next year with more Cyber Monday deals. Oh, next year for Cyber Monday. Next okay. year. So you can wait a year for any videos we posted. All right, guys. Take care. I don't know how to stop the stream. And See you next year. Stop.